when you think about the brain, you know, it's, it's sort of a difficult thing to understand because if I were to ask you right now, how does the heart work, you would instantly tell me it's a pump, you know, it pumps blood. And if I were to ask you how your lungs work, you would say it exchanges oxygen for carbon dioxide, that's easy. But if I were to ask you how the brain works, it's a hard thing to understand because you can't just look at a brain and understand what it is. It's not a mechanical object, it's not a pump, it's not an airbag. It's just like, if you held it in your hand when it was dead, it's just a piece of fat. And so to understand how the brain works, you have to go inside a living brain. Because the brain is not mechanical, the brain is electrical, it's chemical. Your brain is made out of 100 billion cells, and these cells are called neurons. And these neurons communicate with each other with electricity. And we're going to eavesdrop in on a conversation between two cells, and we're going to listen to something called a spike. But we're not going to record my brain or your brain or your teacher's brains. We're going to use our good friend, the cockroach. Not just because I think they're cool, but because they have brains very similar to ours. And so if you learn a little bit about how their brains work, we're going to learn a lot about how our brains work. So I'm going to put them in some ice water here. And then, yeah. So what's happening right now is that they're becoming anesthetized because they're cold-blooded. They become the temperature of the water, and they can't control it, so they just basically chillax, right? They're, going to be, they're not going to be able to feel anything. And let me just tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a scientific experiment to understand the brain. So... This is the leg of a cockroach, and the cockroach has all these beautiful hairs and pricklies all over it. And underneath each one of those is a cell, and this cell is a neuron, and this neuron is going to send information about wind or vibrations. If you, try to you ever try to catch a cockroach, it's hard because they can feel you coming before you're even there. They start running. So these cells are zipping up this information up to the brain using those little axons with electronic messages in there. So we're going to record by sticking a pin right in there. So we need to take off the leg of a cockroach, don't worry, they'll grow back. And then we're going to put two pins in there. One of the pins, these are metal pins, they're going to pick up this electronic message, this electric message that's going by. So we're now going to do the surgery. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, it's gross. All right. So there we go. You guys can see his leg right there. So now I'm going to take this leg, I'm going to put it in this invention that we came up with called the Spiker Box. And this replaces lots of expensive equipment in a research lab so that you guys can do this in your own high schools or in your own basements if it's me. <laughs> so there. Can you guys see that? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to plug it in. To me, it's the most beautiful sound in the world because this is what your brain is doing right now. You have 100 billion cells making this, these raindrop type noises. So let's go ahead and take a look what it looks like. Let's take, pull it up on the, on the iPad on the screen. I plugged my iPad into here as well. So remember we said what that axe potential looks like. Look like a spike. So we're going to take a look at what one of them looks like in just a brief second. We're going to tap here so we can sort of average this guy. So there we see it. That's an axon potential. You've got 100 billion cells in your brain doing this right now, sending all this information back about what you're seeing, what you're hearing. So we also said this is a cell that's going to be sort of taking up information about vibrations in the wind. So what if you do an experiment, we can actually blow on this and hear if we see a change. You guys are going to be ready for this? If I blow on it, you tell me if you hear anything. So let me just touch it with a little pen here. That was actually the neural firing range. This took a while in neuroscience to understand this. This is called rate coding, which is that the harder you press on something, the more spikes there are, and that all that information is coming up to your brain. That's how you perceive things. So that's one way of, of doing experiments with electricity. The other way is that your brain is not only just reading or taking in electrical impulses, you're also sending out. That's how you move your muscles around. So let's see what happens if I've plugged in something that's electric into the cockroach like here. So I'm going to take two pins, I'm going to plug them onto the cockroach. I'm going to take the other end, I'm going to plug it into my iPod. It's my iPhone, actually. I don't know if you guys know this, but do you guys know how your earbuds work in your ears? You have a battery in your phone, your iPod, right? It's sending electrical current into these magnets in your earbuds, which shake back and forth, you like to hear things. But that electric current is the same currency that our brain uses, so we can send that directly to the cockroach leg, and hopefully, if this works, we can actually see what happens when we play music into the cockroach. Let's take a look. Can we turn it up? There we go. <laughs> so what's happening? 
So you see what's moving. It's moving on the bass. All those audiophiles out there that have awesome kicking car stereos know that bass speakers are the biggest speakers. The biggest speakers have the longest waves. The longest waves have the most current. And the current is what's causing these things to move. So it's not just speakers that are causing electricity. Microphones also cause electricity. So I'm going to go ahead and invite another person out on the stage here to help me out with this. So there we go. <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened in the history of mankind. He would beat box to a cockroach leg. When you guys go back to your high school, think about neuroscience and you guys can begin the neural revolution. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. Oh.